What's up world, it's Dallas with Softmodder, and today I'm going to show you how to get OmniSwitch on stock Android. OmniSwitch is a very clever little multitasking tool that's normally exclusive to OmniROM, which itself is a very cool ROM. But if you like stock Android, there's a way to have your cake and eat it too. As you can see, I'm demonstrating this on a Nexus 5, and this should work with any rooted Nexus device just about the same, so long as you have a custom recovery installed. Other manufacturer skin versions of Android like TouchWiz or Sense might have problems with this, but feel free to give it a try if you're rooted, there's not much risk involved. To get this going, you'll need to download a couple of files. I've got those linked out in the full tutorial that this video actually serves as a companion to, and you can find that by hitting up the link in the description below. First up is Lucky Patcher. This is an awesome tool created by developer Chelpus that lets you apply tons of hacks and patches to Android. And like I said, you can download that over at my article, so once you've got it installed, just grant it super user privileges, and we'll move on. First up, head into Toolbox, right down here at the bottom left. Then from this next menu, choose Patch to Android. The one thing we're using Lucky Patcher for today is this option. Disable Signature Verification in the Package Manager. So tick that box, but before you hit Apply, let me tell you about the next step. To install the actual OmniSwitch app, we'll be using a flashable zip made by XDA user Venlore. His zip puts the OmniSwitch APK file into the proper folder and sets the permissions for you automatically. So we'll need to boot into recovery to flash that, which is the reason for this brief intermission. For Lucky Patcher to make the required changes to Android, it'll need to reboot your phone. It does that automatically as soon as you hit apply. So instead of rebooting for Lucky Patcher, then rebooting to recovery to flash the zip, we'll do both at the same time here. So go ahead and hit apply, but to get into recovery, just hold the volume down button while it's rebooting here. After a few seconds, you should see the bootloader menu. From here, just tap the volume down button twice to highlight recovery mode, then hit the power button to select it. Now just give it a second or two, and recovery should come right up. From here, just hit install. Then browse to the OmniSwitch zip file that you got from my article. Tap that, then swipe the slider at the bottom to get things going. When it's finished, just hit Reboot System and OmniSwitch will be installed. But instead of waiting for that to boot up, let's see it in action on this other Nexus. The app that you'll find in your app drawer only serves as the settings menu for the OmniSwitch service. In here, toggle this top switch to On to get things started. You'll immediately see this little feature tour that highlights the trigger area for the OmniSwitch multitasking UI. Tap OK to move on. Tick this box up top if you want OmniSwitch to run every time you start your phone. Otherwise, you'd have to start it manually, which kind of defeats the purpose. If you keep digging through here, there are tons of settings that'll let you customize the look and feel of OmniSwitch. I'll hit up some highlights. If you have any icon packs installed, you can tap this button to use them in OmniSwitch. By default, OmniSwitch is a little popover screen that looks like this. But you can tick Dim Background to make it look more like an integrated system feature. Here's what that looks like. You can disable and reorder the buttons on OmniSwitch by going into this menu. And this also lets you see what some of the more advanced features of OmniSwitch are. You can kill all apps to free up memory, kill all but the app that you're using, and even switch directly to the last app that you had up. If you don't like this blue trigger area, you can easily change the color here. Even better, you can bump the opacity slider down to zero and the trigger becomes invisible. There's also settings for the size and location of the trigger area so you can make it fit your usage even better. Toggle quick switcher to on and when you long press the trigger area, you'll get this other view. The last point of interest is your favorites. Hit manage favorites. Then from this next screen, tap Add. From here, just tick the box next to any app that you'd like to have quick access to. And when you press OK, you'll get a chance to reorder them. Hit OK again when you're satisfied. Now as the overlay shows you, there's an extra button on your Omni switch. Just tap that and you'll have access to your favorite apps from any screen. But yeah, for the full breakdown, be sure to check out that article. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, guys. But until then, happy soft modding.